You can't hear my dad's music though, can you? Alright, good. I hated my other mic that I used. Literally would pick up every fucking song. I wore a so I was at a wedding to them. My dad's I wore like it's not like my dad has like shitty music, it's just he plays it so loud that it's annoying. It is. It really is. And he like what pissed me off the most is that this is the second time that he's woken me up from music today. It's like, bruh, just fucking today? turn it. Today, yeah. I woke up like fucking three hours ago because it's told him to turn it down. And then I woke up this, like, literally, like 20 minutes ago. And he's still blasting music. That's like, bruh, just fucking turn That's it off. When you go out there, just knife the. Speakers. I'm literally thinking about just taking the whole stereo and just throwing it off the deck. <laughs> literally. Dude. I want I mean, to shit. so bad. Good. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. My dad's like, like, well, I mean, you know, if you're going to be up, just stay up tonight. It's like, you don't understand. I'm fucking tired. Like, I shouldn't be tired when I wake up. Like, I literally fell asleep at like 3 o'clock today. Because I stayed up all night previous, and I was going to go to sleep, probably wake up around 1 or 2. But no. Yeah. Why is this yeah, man just I holding a semi? Like, I fucking hate when people play loud ass music. Oh, especially like when you're like mid sleep and you wake up and you're like, dude, what the fuck? Just turn it off. Like, the amount of times I've woken up to loud ass music. I'll legit yell at my dad. Like, I'm not even it scared at this point. I'll be like, yo, fucking turn it down. Yeah, that's... Yeah. It's so annoying. I s it pisses me off when it happens when I'm sleeping, too. Yeah. It is so much worse. Like, it'd be different I'm awake and I'm not doing you know, anything. You know, it'd be... It'd but, like, the sure fact off. that I'm asleep and you just decide to be a prick at, like, 3 a.m. Yeah, exactly. Fucking exactly. Like, you had all fucking day, and you wait till at night Damn to it. blast your loud ass music. Yeah, it's... I swear my dad does it on purpose, but he always acts like, Oh, it's, all, oh, it's okay, I'll shut it off soon. Another two hours go by. And then they don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll turn it off, and like, after this song. Then and it's like, like... Five songs go by. It's like, okay, ten more songs. And it's the type of songs too Nothing to like happens. make you not want to listen to them at that time. It, like you wake up and you're like, "Fucking, why are you even playing this?" Yeah, it's not even some good. It's just yeah, like not like any music Gong is good to style. wake up to, but it's like it's like that old school shit that he's already played like thirty times. <laughs> yeah, like sh something you've heard over and over. Yeah. And over. What a bitch camping in the back. <laughs> he's camping in the back with the LMG. You. Wait, are you dead? Yeah, I died. I ch I'm trying to snipe in this game. Yeah, no okay. That's what I'm trying. It's so stressful on search and destroy though. Okay, now his music's getting kind of loud. Yeah, you can hear it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. It's not like insane, but I don't know. No. No, and this mic even has a condenser on it too, so muffles out some sound, but. Nah, nah. Playing a song by the, he's playing Hey Jude by the Beatles. It's a good song. Well, don't tell them that now they're now they're gonna copyright. Yeah, I know. They're gonna hear like one note. They're gonna be like that son of a. Oh, bitch. that's enough. That's enough for us. Bomb is in play. Protect the carrier. We at Twitch don't take any risks. Like one syllable, and they're gonna one lose it. like one word, bro. Not even a word. <laughs> be a note. They won't even hear anything, they'll just think they heard something. Man, oh, that's like, ass! I hate it when fucking riot shield people just flip up their shield. And they throw out a knife. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> well, at least we won. That was rough. Oh, that's the- that's- Damn. That's fucked. Yeah, that's the guy that just killed me, when he killed him. Like how half their team just like left. Fucking idiots. For real though, when people like play loud ass music over a speaker, it's annoying. Just I like, know. <laughs> Alright, Brandon, 1v1. I don't one understand why people like that don't own headphones. Like, why can't you just go out and buy a nice pair of headphones? Yeah, it, like. 
Like what? Like what is that? It's literally gonna be the exact same, but for you, if not better. Yeah, it's. I just hate it when I'm like, especially when I wake up to music playing, and like as soon as I wake up, my dad starts playing music. I absolutely hate those things. They just piss me off because it's so annoying. Yeah, you can't even start your day because there's just fucking music. No. It just like sets you off. Like when I'm trying to play a game or something, like even a campaign game, I hate it when there's music playing. Absolutely hate it. Yeah. It kills the vibe. Legit. And it's like, man, I guess I just don't want to play this anymore. Yeah. Alright, Brandon, so snipers only, bolt action, you're allowed to pistols. Uh, melee is only a last resort when you're out of ammo for your sniper and for your pistol. Uh, headshots are worth well, two are extra we points. Are going to custom games? Yeah, custom oh, games. we are in custom games. Yeah. Okay. Essentially, just use the class that you use in, um, in like, regular matches. That's how I get good. Why does that not say? Oh, I'll just use what I used last time. What the hell? And then you said melee is the last resort? Yeah, melee is legit the last resort. First one to 45. Okay. Hold on, let me, hold on. I have a gun in my secondary. Let me equip a melee. Alright. And the health will be the same, too. Um, that's so weird that right. you can disable tactical sprint. That's so weird. I thought that was, like, legit a thing just in the game. What's tactical yeah. sprint? Tactical sprint is like faster than your regular sprint. You like double tap the left stick. That's not normal. Oh no, it is, but it's like something that you can disable. I just thought it was. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay, what the fuck? Why, Why is it not saving my? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna have to leave lobby and come back. Custom games. There we go. Did it bring you with me? Yeah, it did. Alright. Default. I don't know why the... Like, the modes aren't saving. Like, I gotta keep changing the time and score back. It's really dumb. Two points. Okay, there we go. Now it's set to custom. Alright. Are you ready, homeboy? First one to 45. Yeah, I'm ready. <sighs> Wait, so a headshot's like double? Yeah, headshots are worth two extra points. Okay. I've always loved this map, Speedball. I don't know, dude. Oh, like, I've, I haven't played this one forever. Modern Warfare maps are just like really good. They just look good. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they're either hit or miss. Yeah, it depends. Like, they'll either be really good or they'll be like... Grasden Raid, really I fucking flag. hate that map. Grasden Raid. I don't remember what that one is. The shitty-ass search and destroy map. It's like out in the city. Oh yeah, so you can use pistols too, but nothing burst. Be semi-auto. Do you remember when me and... Why would you just now tell me this after you equipped a melee weapon? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, um... Do you remember when? Do you what? remember when me and you would like two v two people? Oh yeah. On the yeah. leaderboard and we. Dude, could, like, we used to really fuck them up. up. I miss that. I miss that dude. Me too. That was Ooh. so much fun. <laughs> oh shit, bro. We f we like actually need to start playing together more often. Oh, I know. And what's funny too is I is I miss doing that. I do too. Damn! Gotta warm up, buddy. Oh! Crash. Okay, why the fuck did money explode from you? Oh, yeah. oh, because I think it's... Yeah, yeah, so look at the headshot. So, I think you gotta... Oh, wait, no. Damn it! Got a, got a what? Look at the score, buddy. Five and two. Must get a headshot on you. Alright, so what were you saying? Yeah, I just, I missed doing that because we'd fuck so many people up. <laughs> Dude, I just miss <laughs> hanging out like we used to. I know, man. I just hate being an adult, bro. Responsibility. Yeah. I well, don't know. Well, you I mean, notice it too, obviously, right? 
three. Like, like as you yeah. get older, you're starting to notice how much getting old sucks. Dude, I already gotta worry about money problems, and I'm like not even out the house. Oh, come on, that was shot first. Like fucking, I don't know. There's tons of perks to it. Like, I'm able to go ahead. Gotta rely on people for everything. Yeah, true. And like, like, when you have your own money, it's nice too, right? Yeah, but like, having to worry about money, having to fucking worry about taxes, your payments. All and not that to mention shit. though, like this is this is kind of hard to stick with me for a little bit. But like, it's like when you have a job, you have to work for like the rest of your life. Like you can't do anything else. You legit have to do something. You can't just live off oh, the yeah. world for free. And it's like, I always forget about that, and it's just, I don't want to be working till I'm like 75, bruh. I really don't. Dude, that's, that's why, like, I'm trying to, like, have that's a streamer or just something pop up. Like, yeah. I'd go psychotic working every single day, dude. There's no way. Oh, that was a hard scope. I'm sorry. Like, to switch jobs, or to keep the same job till I die, I'd actually... No. No, you the fucking loser. Like, I can't even keep a normal schedule because it's so annoying to me. Yeah, dude, Let like... Let alone do the same thing every day for like 20 Especially years. in 2022 when everything is so fucking expensive too, right? Like, you legit have to just keep grinding. Yeah. Alright, you bitch. Dude, oh. I don't know. Like, I'd rather fucking... I don't want to work every day till I'm dead. I really don't want to work till I'm 60. Like, I at least want to make my first, like... 10 million dollars by the time I'm like 30 but it's like yeah but that's the thing like that's what everyone wants to do but it's like and it's like you got all these fucking look it seems so easy nowadays like TikTok like it just seems so easy but it's like you have yeah. to be selected for that like you don't just get randomly picked like somebody's actually gotta yeah. see interest in you be like okay you know well the thing is is just us being males, I feel like makes it hard. Yeah, actually. Because like we don't get to show ass and tits and just get famous. I know. Like I feel like being a female just has so much more advantages over being a male. Like, dude, you could if things don't work out for females, you could literally just start fucking uploading on like OnlyFans. You could literally just do porn. Girls could literally just dude, get. Dude, you don't even have to do porn. You could just do like beach pics or something. Yeah, like softcore. Dude, porn, you know? Oh my god, I was watching this podcast the other day, and this girl who's with Andrew Tate or whatever, right? They're doing a podcast, and apparently she made fucking fifty thousand dollars in the last month over her feet. Over her feet, dude. Fifty thousand. That's too easy. That's too I would easy. That's not kill. fair. I'm sorry, but that's not fair. I would literally... Like, bruh, I like how girls complain week. about, like, a pay wage gap, but it's like, bruh, you can literally just, like, flaunt your fucking toes or your ass and still get paid. Like, who cares? Still get paid, right? Dude, for real. Getting paid more than us. Show your shit. So what's the deal? 50,000 a month for uh, feet A month. <laughs> The most, the most you said that you've ever made in one month that, is ninety thousand. I would die for that. But it's like anyone could like, just you put know up how your feet. Insane that is. Besides, like how do you live enough? How do we know that they're her feet though too? True. But it's like if it's that easy, that's not fair. There's no way it's that easy. But apparently it is because she made fucking fifty grand last month over her feet. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, there's too much yeah. bullshit. It's... I just feel like life at this point is stupidly hard, but, like, stupidly easy. But it's, like, you have to have, like... I feel like it's easy, but for the wrong... People. NFTs, for example. Create a fucking picture and sell it online. I feel like 2020 is, like, the only year that people have started talking about crypto and stocks and markets and shit. And it's, like... Well, crypto, I feel like, came out since COVID, but definitely. Yeah, remember Dogecoin? Apparently, Dogecoin back then, or this year, was like a legitimate currency, but it stopped being used now. That was a hard scope. Dude, this just like, I don't know, bro. There's so fucking much. Like, dude, I want to make. I feel like life's so easy, but it's for the wrong people. Like, you know that stupid fucking rock pet in the '90s that made so much money? Yep. 
Literally anybody could think of that, but one guy did it and made millions. It it's so uh, like dude. I wanna do it legitimately though. Like I just don't wanna yeah, I don't buy want to into like, like some shitty way. Yeah, because then I feel like I won't like I've earned it. Sure I'll be happy that I have like say a thousand to like twenty grand in my account, but it like it won't really feel like I've earned it. Felt like it's way too easy. Cause if it's that easy, then everyone would be doing it. Nobody would be working regular nine to five fucking jobs if it was that easy. Like, I'd yeah, you'd have the money, but the thing is, is you would not have the respect. No, and, and nobody would have like, like you the workmanship earn either. What you got. Yeah. Like, dude, when you work at a construction job and you put in ten hours a day, busting your fucking ass, lifting up over sixty pounds worth of items every fucking day, and you get to go home and see your bank account, get your check, you feel proud of that, bro. But it's like if I were just to post a fucking picture of like say a monkey and get paid like ten thousand dollars in one day for that, I'd feel way too easy, and I feel like I would get greedy with that. Yeah. You know, like that's the only difference. Like, like, yeah. I it's stupidly you. dumb, Brandon. It's legit stupidly dumb. And it's like, don't even get me started on girls either. Girls today are so fucking fake. Like, Dude, the thing is, is that like so many people, like you. Okay, I'm s obviously like becoming an adult. Yeah. And there's so many people that like you hear or you heard about popping off like the age of 17 or 16 yeah and it's like they're doing like sometimes like mostly what like fucking rappers and shit yeah like they'll be doing hard shit at like such a young age i know and but it's, it's like, like they have a different set of tools than i do mm-hmm Mm -hmm. And they can use that to their advantage. Like they can use their 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 hard uh, up upbringing and shit, and they can rap uh, rap about it. You know, make millions. And it's yeah. And the thing is, is that like when you're in the like, okay, you're in the hood. Yeah. Like there's most people don't do anything but slaying fucking drugs and rap. Exactly. So and money. like you have you're surrounded by a group of people who are trying to do the same thing you're doing. Like you know. You got the same inspiration though, and you're just kind of firing off of each other. But when you're trying to do something solo, it's like so much harder because it's just yeah, you trying to like. It's literally it. just you. Now, yeah, what you I, don't have okay. a support group. What what I was talking about when I say girls are so fake today, it's like relationships in 2022 won't last more than six months unless you guys are a legit, definite fucking match, which in today's world is fucking hard to predict because it's like. I feel like texting a girl and calling and then having like your social media profile and all that just it lets them way like it lets them know way too much about you way too quick you know it doesn't yeah. give them a chance to actually like meet in person and know what they're about because like if you're just going off a social media page I mean you're just going off assumptions I mean you know back in the 90s I mean all, all you had to do was go down to the bar go down to a coffee shop ask for a girl's number and you would call her during the night and then that's it right and then you guys would plan a date and actually go out in person and not just text fucking 24 7 and get to know each other that way and then it seems fake so then you break it off I mean it's it's so dumb and I'm not yeah. just like bitching about because I don't have a girlfriend I'm bitching about because this is how it is legit either you have to have nah, a million like dollars in your bank account or like I, like, I, I don't know. Like, it seems to be what it is. Dude, I was at a wedding today, and this old, like, not old lady. She was maybe, like, 60. Yeah. She was talking about how when her husband asked to marry her, she was dating three other fucking guys at the same time. Jesus. Really? Yeah, three other fucking guys. Do you know how big of a stank hoe you have to be to do some kind of shit like that? And the thing is, is, with social media, like, there's so many different ways to cheat on someone. Oh, I know, dude. And it's and like... And get away with it. Okay, have like, you ever heard of the website called funny. Ashley Madison? It's legit a cheating site for married people. It's like, for real? It's like a dedicated cheating website where you could set up a affair with somebody. What the actual... Yeah. Thing? It's been around since, like, 2011, 2012, Ashley Madison. 
Holy shit. I that's know. It's not okay. I know, but it's like, this is what I mean. Like, texting, social media, it doesn't make relationships as, like, unique as they are. You already know everything before you go in. Nothing's a mystery. And it's like, how can you be attracted to somebody for that long when you already know so much? And it's like, you're already going off of assumptions by, 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 by this time. Yeah. Like, I just, I feel like that relationships aren't as unique as, say, like, you know, 2010 relationships at people that are our age, you know? Yeah. E even in 2010, like, I get that it's only, like, maybe 12 years ago, but, I mean, that's a big difference in, like, girls' I I ideology and how they think and all that shit. And it's, like... Yeah. But, like, do you know what I'm getting at here? I'm just saying that I think girls today are just not as unique as they are back then. Because they seem fake. And it's legit yeah. so easy to cheat. It's legit so easy. I mean, I can't say just girls, because I know some, like, I mean, not personally. But, like, there's definitely some guys out there who've cheated. Oh, yeah. So you can't just say it's just girls, but as a male, it definitely feels like it's mostly girls. I know, it, it's so... <sighs> like, personally, Brennan, I've been single for oh, about Oh, shit, five okay. So, you know how, like, how when a guy sleeps with, like, multiple women, he's a player. But when yeah. a girl does it, she's a hoe. Yeah. Dude, it's because it's so easy for women to just sleep with whoever. Oh, I men know. Men have to actually try. Yeah, men have women to actually just go earn out it. and just sleep with someone. Yeah. A girl could literally go up to a guy that's been married for six years be like, Hey, yo, look, I'll suck your dick. Wanna go into the back room right now? And the guy's gonna be like, yeah, okay. Because it's so easy. Yeah. But if a girl it's tried so saying that, for easy. one, that'd be sexual harassment, for one. And for As two... a girl. Yeah, oh my god. Like, the, the rules I mean, are guy, so... Yeah. But, like, the rules are so reversed when it comes to that, it's not even a double-edged sword, which is stupid. For real, dude. Like... I just wish it wasn't like that. And I wish girls weren't so fucking petty. These days. Yeah. That's, yeah. Because it's like, look, dude, I've been single for five years. I've been trying to find a girl that I actually like and I think that I could actually commit to. You know? Yeah, I know what you mean. So I want to make sure that, you know, she's not faking shit, you know? And it's like, normally I can find out within like the first two weeks. It's normally how it works. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, as like, as like, as like you were saying, it's so dumb how like a girl can be called a hoe, but a guy can be called a player. But essentially, yeah. I guess a player is like a man hoe, essentially, but. Yeah, but, but I guess. The is that the guy literally has to actually try. A guy yeah. can just walk out. Flash a little ass and just like sleep so yeah it's it's so dumb Team like I can find so Team many Team unmarried Team men but I can't find <laughs> unmarried women. oh I know I know and Unless you know, it's by choice and you know gold diggers are still a thing <laughs> yeah that's for sure you know okay so the th also, the thing is, is if we were to like become rich somehow, yeah, like y obviously that would fix so many of our current problems. Oh my God, yeah. But then we'd also have so many other problems, like newer problems, like you wouldn't know what people are using you for your money, what people yeah. are like actually there for you. Like there'd be so many fakes, you'd have to pick them out. People yeah. would start changing, dude. Shit would like. Money definitely takes care of like so many problems, but it also comes with its own set. Yeah, legit. Money will make or break a relationship. And most right. of the time, it'll break a relationship. Especially if you lie about money. If you lie about money inside a relationship, it's game over. Yeah. Like, if As you can't be trusted with money, get out. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're like... Like, if you're frugal with your money where you just don't give a shit, like, what you're spending it on, like, people that'll just, like, buy a fucking 1980s Mercedes and just, like, not even drive it, you know? Like, that is so dumb. And it's, like, 
But for some reason, girls are like attracted to that. Girls are attracted to guys that have, just have like loads of money and they'll just blow it out on a a anything. Because the girl will yeah. think that they're gonna get something in return, you know? Yeah. Dude. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on. I'm trying to rewind. Just remember what you said, because there's something I wanted to say. About how girls, um, like a lot, like guys with lots of money. There's something about how they were like frugal with their money. Yeah, like, like how a guy could just spend. Like two million dollars on fucking a anything, not even matter. And girls are like attracted yeah. to that. I don't, I don't fucking remember what I was gonna say, dude. Now I'm annoyed, but like. Uh, I hate that too. Stay I don't know. I feel like the reason why girls are mostly attracted to douchebags. Yeah. Okay. Do you actually just believe? Just because they do you have. You actually believe that like you gotta be ego. a dick to a girl for her to be attracted to you? Like, what is that? I never grew up with that no, standard. No, I think the reason why is because they just... Like, they're not really afraid to make a move on a girl compared to, like, people who just don't want to make a move so it doesn't go anywhere. Because I feel like girls always expect the guy to move first, you know? Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I'll, I'll always make the first move, but, you know, I always say my please and thank yous, you know? But, like... Yeah. Like, I was hearing something where it's like, girls like it when you're kind of a douchebag to them. And it's like, really? There's no way. There's no way that I grew, grew up with everything knowing, and then turns out that it's all wrong. I feel Besides, like it's because of the masculinity, you know? Yeah, masculinity. Like, that's why so many, you hear about women getting in abusive relationships. Like, they don't start out abusive, they're just really fucking, like, like aggressive at first and <laughs> then it slowly turns into toxic relationships. Yep. And it's like like they just if, love that they f the the masculine like just the quote unquote manliness. I know. What which is but it's dumb though. Like you don't have to be a dick to be a man. No. It's the opposite to be honest. Yeah, it is. Like and it's if like, you're a dick, you're you're Mostly looked at on by people. Besides, you ever heard that ser that thing where it says, uh, "Real men don't cry." You ever heard that? Yeah, I think that's a fucking stupid. absolute bullshit, man. If you're a man and you actually care about things, then yeah, sure, you would cry. That just shows that you actually care. You're not just a piece of shit. Dude, that line pisses me off. I know. I have so many friends who suffer from like depression, and like feel like they don't. They can't talk about it because they're men and they grew up with yep. the line, you know, you can't fucking, real men don't cry. Yeah. And no. it's like, that, if that, you're a real man, why are you so afraid to show your emotions? You exactly. Know? A real man would never be afraid, no matter what. I feel like, like, if you, if that's how you feel, then just do it. If you're being afraid of people judging you. Yep. Which is... For which is so crying, dumb. Which is a natural human thing. Yeah, it's literally natural to cry. But apparently, yeah, crying is seen as like a, apparently cr crying is like a feminine thing. Oh yeah, only girls cry. Bullshit. Bullshit. Dude. Like to say a man would cry over his like deceased parents is ass. You're a fucking douchebag if you don't at least show some sort of emotion. You know, the fact that, like, your parents could die, and yep. you'd still have to go back to work, like, not even a week later, to pay your bills is fucked. Yeah. Honestly. Like, you can't take an actual long mental health break and calm down. Legit. With everything. Like, you gotta go straight back in a normal life. Yeah, you legit. Bro, if, you're pa if my parents died today, I would have to go to their funeral tomorrow, and then I'd probably get a day off and then right back to work. Right back to work, Facts. and like, n and and then act like nothing happened. Like, do you know how fuck that is, dude? It's so dumb. People like, at least the suicide rates are so high, they can't fucking. They don't have enough time to cope with anything. No, they legit have to worry about other shit too. Not to mention that their parents just fucking passed away. Yeah. Like on top of that, like, those are the people that made you who you are.
Whether Dude, you not like even them my or parents. Not. If my dog died, I'd oh, be a little man. bit. Dude, if Lexi died, I'd fucking. If my work asked me to come in, I'd be like, no, fuck you. I'm staying home. Yeah, like. It's like, seriously. Not and besides, if they fired me, if they fired me for that, I would sue them for wrongful termination. Because it's like, bruh, my dog just died and my job is legit expecting me to come back and act like nothing happened? Uh uh. No, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> yeah. Like, you gotta give me some time to fucking cope with it. At least a week. At least. At least. <laughs> you know? I feel like jobs should pay you to be off for, like, at least a week. Yeah, but jobs Just are so fucking cheap. Down. And you know what's so dumb? Is that, like, like say, for example, right? Walmart, right? What's 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 win minimum wage at, at Walmart down in the States? Probably, like, what, eight, eight something? I think, like, I think, like, I think Walmart actually has a pretty decent one. Actually. Twelve. Alright. Yeah. What's so dumb is that, you know, you do this shitty ass work day in and day out, right? And you get paid that minimum fucking wage. And it's like these billion dollar companies cannot spend like an extra dollar or two on somebody else's paycheck. And then it's like on top of that, their dog just died and you expect them to come back and do the same shitty thing for nine hours a day? Uh uh. For real, dude. Uh uh. No, that's not worth the fucking minimum wage. That's not worth it. The thing is, is that, like, we can't do shit about that unless everyone who worked there was to just, like, stop. You know what's so dumb? Like, nobody's gonna the do that. If Walmart so fucking scared. family died, you could get, like, th a month off and get paid for it, too. Like, I'm sure that's how mm -hmm. that, that would work. Like, say, for example, right? If, like, the boss's dog or family member just died, he'd probably get a month off with the full pay. That's how dumb Probably that is. Probably not even. I bet like at least three months, dude. Oh yeah, with full severance pay and everything, and like, Jesus Christ, it's so unfair. Yeah. It's fucked, dude. Like, I just wish people would have more consideration instead of just fucking always thinking about money. Cause so what? Cause that's what these businesses think about, right? Is money, 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 money. And it's like, they couldn't no. give a shit if your parents just died. They literally just want you right back to work. They don't care about their employees. Like, no. How they are. They just care what you can do. Exactly. Not even that. Some people literally will hire you just because you're an extra body. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, you know, you can actually sue a, a, a company for that if they, like, employ you just based on your looks. Or if they deny you, you based on your... Real? Yeah, you can legitimately sue oh, a company yeah. for that. That's discrimination. Yeah. That's legitimately discrimination. Okay. Oh. I don't know, dude. That was Life a dirty quick so fucked. And growing up and just realizing a lot of it is just... Realizing hard. that, you know, 2008 is not like 2022 anymore. It's legit. Nothing is the same. In fact, 2022, like... Is it me, or is like, does the century that we live in right now, like this year and the past couple of years, have just kind of felt like dog shit? Honestly, yeah, kind of. Like, it's not me, right? Like, life just kind of feels like it's not worth it anymore to where it's going. It's not the same. No. Like, I don't know. Dude. Like, I even like if I was seven years old, like, it, like if I was still a kid today in 2022, I, I would still think something's up. Something just would not feel right. Compared to me being okay, like you know, seven like, years old back, oh, you know, like, fucking oldness and shit, cancel dude. culture. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. I feel like people care more about what like rappers or some fucking stupid saying. You know, you know than, what? Like, what we've been is? talking about. Legit people jobs. that have no fucking sense of humor. People that have no That's sense true. of humor are fucking woke people. Like, dude. Like, did you hear about the whole thing? Dave Chappelle thing? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and how they wanted to get him canceled for the transphobic jokes. But it's like, dude, they're literally yeah. just jokes. He doesn't mean anything by them. He's literally just making jokes about them. Dude, there was a... Like, Eminem's been... Like, people have been trying to cancel him for so long. Because, dude, like, Eminem's old albums, like... Okay, I could see them being, like, kind of rough, you know, for 2022. But they were good back then. And they're still good today. And it's like, if anyone has a problem... And the problem, thing is, is that he literally admitted... That he doesn't hate gays, he doesn't hate anyone. No! It's just, you know, just part of the rhyme. Part it of the rhyme? Goes well. Yeah, it legit goes well. And it's, 
it's not even him. It's a Slim Shady. It's an act. Yeah, legit. Like, it's a it's a persona. You can't get mad at somebody playing. Separate the art from the artist. Exactly yeah. like that. But it's like, dude, people are trying to cancel people for shit that they did like 10 years ago. And it's like, bro, if you had no That's problem with it back then, why are you having a problem with it now? And the thing is, is that people change. If they've changed, people why are you trying change? to bring up old Exactly. Theory? Like, people today in woke and cancel culture are legit acting like second chances are not a thing. It's like, nah. Once Honestly. you did that back then, it don't matter. And it's like, bruh, if, like, say 90% of the population was okay with it back then, who are the other 10%? And who gives a fuck? Yeah. Like, it's so stupid. Dude, I don't know. I feel like the fucking... I feel like the world's it's gone just... to shit. Okay. Seriously. And then, like, the thing is, is that all these... I, they're not as bad as they are used to be, but like those stupid fucking dumbass TikTok challenges. Oh my or god, like, remember that Thai pot challenge? Some lady, there was some lady selling like pink sauce on TikTok. Yeah, what is that? It's like bought it, and it was like fucking 90% of it was milk. So you're literally buying spoiled milk. For like $20. Yeah, this shit was like $20 sauce. Yeah. Like that shit was everywhere, And it looks like dude. fucking Pepto-Bismol. Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> like... It looks disgusting as shit. Like, like dude, who's gonna put this pink sauce? And, and, uh, I'm sorry, but pink sauce? That's not a sauce. I'm sorry. It doesn't even look like a sauce. Literally, it just dude, looks it like looks somebody like just opened water. up a... Like, I could have opened up a bottle of Pepto-Bismol and nobody would even know the difference. Honestly. Even in taste difference, people wouldn't even notice. Probably literally tastes the same. It doesn't even look good. Who wants... To, it's watered down. Who... Who wants to fucking eat that? It doesn't no. look like sauce. It looks like a fucking energy drink. And that's not something that is even meant to be drink, like drinking. No. But it's like, yeah, back on like the whole cancel thing. It's it's so dumb how people were legit getting canceled from shit even like 20 years ago. And it's like, bro, it doesn't matter today. People change. Give people a fucking second chance. Dude, literally 20 years later, and you're trying to cancel. Yeah. Like, if it's not obvious, I'm pretty sure they've changed by then. And you know what? It's people that are like, it's mostly Gen Z and like other people just a little bit up from that range that get offended over the smallest things. Like, over the smallest things. Like, I, I went, oh my god. I was watching this thing, and this guy went to Starbucks with his wife, and mm -hmm. he was telling the barista what he wanted and what his wife wanted, and he said, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll take this, and uh, my wife uh, will have this, and the lady behind the fucking register was like, uh, don't you mean your partner? Uh, no, I mean, like, my wife. Uh, well, sir, it's actually your partner now. And it's like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, seriously. What? Yeah, this lady, like, at a, at a barista, or, or, like, this man, legit got corrected by some other, like, fucking 19-year-old and was like, uh, actually, it's now your partner, not your wife, actually. And it's like, the fucking nerve. The nerve, dude. That's when you lose my service. Mm-hmm. Like, too far and beyond for no fucking reason. Like, dude, if you're gonna correct me on something, and it's like, your wife... To now be called your partner? Like, that is so and it's dumb. Literally, it's literally your wife. She's a female. Literally. Like, what's the problem? <sighs> How are you going to correct me on what my wife is? Exactly. Like, who are you to tell me what the fuck I know? Yeah, like... Fucking idiots, dude. Like, it, it's so dumb, Brandon. It's so dumb. I... I don't know. I feel like honestly, a lot of shit's just been going down. Literally. Like, in quality. In quality. Yeah. Food's been getting smaller, shrinking. Yeah, it's called like, smallflation. Shrink yeah, shrinkflation. Yeah, shrinkflation. And then like prices will rise up. Fucking gas is killer now. 
video games, so many have gone down in quality. Yeah, like, they're not like. Dude, everything's uh, just fucking falling. Like I said, man, 2022 and like say 2020, 2021 were garbage. I mean, they just didn't feel right. Nothing has felt the same ever since like the big COVID hit. You know, because everyone acted yeah. so. Dude, do you remember me telling you when I went to the movie theater during post-COVID? Like, this was, like, when toilet paper was flying off the shelf. I went to the fucking movie theater, and, like, I sneezed and I coughed at the same time. And people looked back at me with the fucking disgust. I had, like, three people turn around and look at me. I was like, bruh, I literally just fucking sneezed. Like, what's oh, the problem? Dude, I believe it. I feel like COVID brought out the inner stupidness in people. Like, they have too much time on their hands, so they just start fucking becoming retarded. Yeah, I know. And it's so dumb like that. It literally is. Like, there's just... They have too much time to waste, so they're like, you know what? We'll just waste other people's time. Hello? Hello? Sorry, my mic just disconnected. I'm sorry. Can you repeat, like, the last 30 seconds? Uh, I said... Fuck, bro, I don't even know what I said. Oh, shit. Alright. <laughs> hey, so, yeah, I uh... Said that they had, oh, wait, I said that they had too much time on their hands, so they just decided to waste other people's time. Yeah, it's... Like, honestly, before COVID, I haven't heard anything about, like... I've barely heard crypto. I barely heard fucking... I barely heard anything about TikTok, really. I yeah. really heard anything about like just so much. Dude. But then COVID hit and everyone's just like, Yeah. Honestly, I feel like fucking, I don't know. COVID brought out like scams, crypto, TikTok, and it's like the TikTok challenges and like people were just so fed up with COVID and having to follow the rules and everything and it's like it just really elevated oh! everyone. Did you hear about like during COVID, this was forever ago. I don't know how you wouldn't have heard of it. But like people who had COVID would go into the store and like they'd open a container of ice cream and just fucking spit in it. Put it oh back. Oh my God. Yeah. Legit. Dude, I'd literally fucking punch someone if they were to what like is spit that? in my ice cream. Like seriously. If bro. You, like that's fucked. And then imagine, like, seeing it. Imagine seeing somebody, like, do that and be like, yo, dude, what the oh, fuck are you doing? Enemy threats in the AR. That's, that's like, you, you need to get it as beaten. Like, something needs to happen, because clearly you're not getting the memo. No. Oh, yeah, Brandon, it's pistols only. Bro. Sorry, I tried telling you, but we're too busy. <laughs> Alright, here. Here, you get three uh, pistol kills on me. Alright. Dude, I feel like we still need to start that podcast, to be honest. Because every time we ever start talking again, it's just back to normal. I know. But it's like, see, this is like the type of shit that I would, that I would want like a podcast on. Just like a realistic talk on like why the world is honestly shit. Yeah. I, I mean, shit, honestly, yeah. And the thing is, is that, like, it's not scripted, it's literally raw, like... Uh, literally, it's... Just in the moment. It's straight up facts. Just straight up facts. And it's like, honestly, I think people would actually come to reason on, like, why we're so frustrated in today's world. It's because, legit, today's world has gone to shit. People are fucking woke. People get offended over the smallest things. COVID is technically still a thing. Gas prices and food prices have gone up the fucking wall. I mean... I mean, oh, it, dude, it, and the thing is, isn't that like we're some old boomer? Like this is our generation. Yeah, this is legit the, the type of shit that we have to grow up in. We have to like go to work and deal with other people's shit every fucking time. Yeah. Like we're the generation that's supposedly gonna make a difference. Yeah, well, but why it's don't like we start where it actually matters instead of worrying about a bunch of stupid shit. Yeah, but you know what? Being like the woke culture now has already like taken up like it's I don't know it's I feel like it's a thing that's never gonna go away I feel like being woke isn't even a good thing anymore. no it's not it's like it just shows that you have no sense it's of humor tanked. and legit you get offended over the smallest things I'm sorry that you're fucking sensitive 
for real, dude. Like, woke used to be like, okay, like, actual problems. Like, I, I can't give an example because I can't think right now. But, like, they'd fix actual problems. Like, I don't know, bro. But, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I feel it, like it, woke's just degraded. Now woke just means that, like, you're a middle aged mom who's a fucking idiot on the internet. Thinking you're some like big hot shot with an opinion. I know, and it's like they always think that their opinion matters when it really doesn't. Literally, it won't even be like a decent opinion. It'll be the stupidest shit you've heard. Yeah, it, it, it's so dumb. Have you heard about the the monkey fox? Oh my god! God forbid if that thing ever ex escalates, bro. It'd be so bad. So bad. I haven't heard too much about it. I've just no. kind of grazed over I, it. I know that there's been like maybe like three or four cases, but like nothing major to where it's like spreading. But it's like, dude, that'd be worse than COVID. What, what's Legit. like the symptoms? Or shit? So essentially monkeypox, you get these like blisters on your arm and shit, and, like little rashes and stuff. And like they get everywhere, like everywhere on your body. And it's infectious and they hurt. Like, legit, your body hurts from the- Oh, shit, sorry. From, like, the blisters so and shit. So it's kinda like... Kinda like smallpox? Kinda, yeah. Uh, but, like, ten times more itchy, ten times more infectious, and ten times hurts a lot more. And, like, it gets everywhere. Like, on your face, your arms, your chest, your back. From what I've heard, it mostly affects the gay community. The what? Like, obviously, that's just... It mostly affects the gay community. You piss me off. But, like, that's just a majority. It's, it might not always stay like that, you know? No, no. And it's like... like the shit could spread. And I feel like, you know, just like with, with everything, you know, we'll find a cure for it, you know? Yeah. You know, it's just like... Here's the thing, it kind of lays dormant inside your system for like a day or two, right? So like you could go out to 7-Eleven, right? Not know that you have it and give it to like fucking 10 other people, bruh. And then boom, that's it. Those 10 other people also have chicken pox or monkey pox. I mean, I don't really worry about not finding a, cor a cure for disease because I feel like... I just worry if you about can't find it. a cure for it, there's going to be people who's at least immune to it. Oh yeah, at least. figure out why they're immune to it. Yeah. Yeah, then you just basic cure off of that, off of immunity. Yeah, I feel like no matter what, we're gonna find a cure unless it somehow spreads so fast it wipes out a majority of the population. Like, bruh. But that would be like, apocalypse level type shit. But it would have to spread insanely fast. It's something that like is unfixable. Is it me or do the guns in Modern Warfare like this game just look aesthetically pleasing? I I don't know. I like the way they look a lot in this game too, to be honest. But I just like I like I how know, the I, really I, I like how the textures look. Like here, here, hang on, here, kill me. Take take my Phantom and inspect it. Okay. Revenge is sweet. And I'll pick up my pistol now. Inspect that shit inside the sunlight. Doesn't that not look... Inspect again. Hold left on D-pad. Left on D-pad. Hold it? Yep. Oh, in the sunlight? Yeah. Enemy at the dumpster. That should look nice, this though. This shit's clean. Right? It's it looks like kind of like a... Like a spec ops. What's that one game? Yeah. It, you know what? This reminds me of, like, a gun that Solid Snake would use in Metal Gear Solid. It is good though, What's right? What's that one game from like uh, Xbox 360? The stealth uh, one. Stealth, stealth, It was like stealth. free with Game Pass. Uh, what was the story? Do you remember? It was like... S I don't remember the story, but I remember the game was like Spec Ops or something. Spec Ops. I don't think it was Spec Ops. Ah, uh, fuck, dude, I don't remember. Fuck, I'm trying to... 
If you want, I can go look real quick. No, it's okay. I mean, I'll probably think of it. I'm just trying to think it. It's a game. It's conviction. Oh, split. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I could not remember that freaking game. I haven't played that in ages. Spencer saw. Have you ever Damn. finished that uh, Fallout series on your Twitch? Fallout 4? Yeah. Or just, yeah. Nope. Not yet. I'm still working on Fallout 4. Debating if I really just want to grind out the game or not or what. Dude, I don't know. The the game seems like fun to me some moments, but other times it's like I just feel like I'll legit be interested in playing it for like the first hour or two and then about like say like an hour in, I'll just get bored. Yeah. I and don't know I, what it is. I feel like the I don't know what it is. I couldn't tell you. But like, I feel like when that game first came out, I could play that game for like nine hours, not even a blink. Yeah. Like, do you think it's just the games like, today, or just like how life is that just makes me not interested? I don't know. I feel like what it is is that like our off and their clips are like a minute to like thirty seconds long. Yeah. And like, how Call of Duty has so many like games and they're all like fast-paced shooters and it's like a huge franchise. You see what it is? I think it's stuff to keep your attention. Like, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, it's like I, different stuff in a short period of time. Yeah. Like, I could legit, honestly, I could play this for like at least two hours and not even get bored in those hours. Yeah. Like, like I don't know. I like... I just felt I used to love story driven games but I, I just know. feel like I can't play them as I much as like I used when to. was the last time that you beat a campaign game? Like full on campaign. I couldn't even tell you to be honest. I know. Like I think the last one the last you know what, this is crazy to say. I think the last campaign game I ever finished fully was Halo Four. Holy shit. Yeah. I just... I, I, I don't, don't know what it is. I legit get like, into I a get campaign so game. I get so far, and then I just stop. Yeah. Legit. Or like... Oh, shit. What's just, funny is like... like, it, like it's yeah. Like, I'll buy a brand new game and be like, yeah, okay, you know what, bet. I'll fucking grind it out, beat it, everything, right? I play it for like 20 minutes, and then I'm just like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna beat this. I don't know. Like, it's just, it just feels like you're doing the same thing for so long. Mm-hmm. Like, there's so many missions and side missions, and it's like... Overwhelming? It's, yeah. Yeah. Like... Like, I remember, like, a real grind for me was when I beat Skyrim twice. But, like, there's still, like, infinite amounts of fucking side missions. The last, okay, the last campaign I fully beat was Borderlands 1, and that was, like, maybe a month or two ago. But besides that, I couldn't name it. Like, like, besides that, maybe a year or two. Jesus. Yeah, that's how it was for me. Like, I feel like in 2020, Brandon, like, when I got my first Xbox One, I felt like I could play games for hours, and that's how it was for, like, the first year. I could legit grind out and stay on any game, but, like, ever since COVID hit, and, like, you know, just how life is right now. I just can't even focus on a fucking game. For real. Like, and it's and it's not like the games are bad. They're just like they are good. It's just like the attention span for them has just really gone down, and I don't know why. Yeah. I I don't know. I feel like our attention spans are just like if you took like if you took 50 like people now. and asked them the exact same thing that I'm telling you at least 45 of them would at least agree and five people would just you know be fine 
I think that that's why like TikTok popped off. It was like one minute or thirty second clips, and that's why like, uh, like mumble rap popped off because it's like, it's like it's not about what the person's saying. It's about the beat and how it changes yeah. all the time and like the yeah. voice sounds good over it. Like it's just tons but like, of different shit. But like, fast. Mumble, but like mumble rap got called out for being like you can't even understand it. Like, what's the point of the lyrics if you can't even understand it? Right? Dude, so, it's literally just because their voice sounds good over here. I know. And they're sipping lean. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. Like, that's why nowadays you see so many, like, heavy bass songs. And there'll be so many, like, different flips in them. Yeah. And, like, like fucking sound changes. Like, honestly, Brandon. Just so much. Honestly, Brandon. I really wish I could go back to 2015 and 2016. I really do. Like, I wish I could just wake up and make it so it's literally 2015 or 2016 again. Back, like, when we were on 360, we could play Modern Warfare 3 for, like, fucking nine hours. PUBG, fucking, you know, Forza. Like, I, I, I miss that. I really do. I miss just, like, that time. Like, you know. And, like, gas, you know, was cheap. Groceries were still fucking cheap. You know, like, nothing was, like, stupidly expensive. And life was good. And nobody was getting canceled. You know? For real. Like, I want to know what... I don't know, dude. There's just so much shit. Like, I, th I feel like 2017, 2018, and 2019 just, like, flipped. And, like, people just started getting angry for, like, no reason. <laughs> I mean, my 2021 started off decent but my 2022 literally started off shit uh, yeah I had covid the first day oh shit the first fucking day because that's that's when i got home after the new year's party I yeah called you, i was like hey i just got my for 19 it wouldn't work on my xbox because the game's fucking broke or something and i passed out after saying i was gonna play with you because i was just sick as shit because i had yeah i remember that yep I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go get breakfast and I'll call you back. Like, and then I just never. Dude, I fucking miss happened. during the winter time when my internet would just cut out because of how cold it would get. My internet dude, would literally I hate to just say die. It, but honestly, I do. I kind of miss that for some reason. Legit, I'd be tucked into my room, be like 11 o'clock at night, sipping hot chocolate, playing some Modern Warfare 3, and then just out of nowhere the internet would go out. Be so cold, be snowing outside. Like, oh. Dude, honestly, I wish I could get into story games again. I know. I just wish I like, could get I back into have... life, Brandon. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, that's what I really miss. I just wish I could get back into life. Yeah. And it's not that I'm, like, depressed or anything. It's just life today is just boring. Like, legit. There's nothing to fucking do. Except. I mean, <laughs> my school doesn't start for another month. You excited to go back to school? Or no? No. No. I mean, I think the first day would be Dude, pretty cool, you know, you get to just like see everyone again, but like be... but it's like ugh. I got tests and shit. Now it's also weird to the point, like I'm still in high school, so I gotta worry about my grades. I gotta worry about studying for tests. And now I'm trying to stream, so I gotta worry about my streaming. I gotta worry about my fucking work, because I still work and I need money. Yep. So I can make fucking somewhere. I got to worry about just all kinds of stupid shit, dude. Yeah, man. And somehow I gotta balance my time perfectly with everything. Yeah, man, exactly. Like, it's... Like, I wish... Personally, I wish just life was as easy as it seems. You know? You said it perfectly. Literally. Like, I wish that I could just go outside, you know, go for a fucking drive, not worry about money, and, like, just enjoy life. But no, I'm literally working five days a week, two days off. I work night shifts, so I don't do shit for the day. Fucking, you know, I can't even get back into games, so that's fucking dumb. And, like, everything is so fucking expensive, so I can't even save up for anything. Like that's how Dude, dumb that's how dumb is, life is right, right there. Now. Is that you you work five days and like that's shitty. I know. There's people that work seven days. Like, oh my god. Could you imagine working seven days? Dude, not to mention I'd, I'd fucking 
Brandon, Lose it. There, there's people that work 10 hour shifts, there's people that work a 12 hour shift, and there's people that work even a 16 hour shift. Okay? Yeah, and they, and they, and they do that for a fucking living. But dude, they might not have any time off whatsoever, but they get paid money, bro. Like, legitimate good money for that. But it's like, yeah, but that's the thing. But you can't enjoy what are you yourself. Do with it? Exactly. You yeah. can't. You're legit working for like fucking 40 years, five days a week, seven days a week, sometimes t fucking 12 hour shifts, and you come home, you fucking eat dinner, and you go to bed. And then you wake up and you do it all over again. Like, then, what are you gonna do? Buy a nice mattress? That's like, you can't do anything. Dude, like a mattress is like $1,200. Like, holy exactly. Shit. Like, a mattress to. Hey, is legit the price of a. Like. <sighs> you Life? Cut out, but, like, did you say a mattress that is, like, the price of a used car? Yeah, yeah. A pr Literally. And and, and 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 it's like, what the hell is that? It's so dumb. Life today is so dumb, Brandon. Dude, like, it really is. Like, I, I, I thought don't even think it's today. I just think, like, in general. Just in general. And it's life, getting worse. Life today just stinks. In tw like, just life in general in this year sucks ass. Yeah. And it's like, you know what? You know, I, I've actually joked about it. Like, I've joked about just, like, ending it just so I don't have to go through, like, shitty life and have to deal with all this crap that everyone else is going through. But it's like, I'm yeah. not I'm not going to actually do it, of course. But it's like, I just, I thought about it just so I could just, like, get through it, you know? Because I, I really no, no. I get what you mean, dude. Yeah, 100%. Just, like, just, like, just, like, skip it all, you know, and go to the afterlife and have some fun that way instead of having to wait fucking 60 years doing the same thing over and over again. And go on a vacation is, is that once like, every three years. The thing is, is that like... I, I know what you mean. Because I used to have this issue where it's like... There's nothing to look forward to. No. But like, you can't end it. Because you know that there's people that depend on you. Yeah. And it's like, you... And it's legit. You, 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 can't, you, can't, you can't survive. Like, when you live on your own, you can't survive without a job. It's something that you legitimately have to fucking do. Unless you yeah. make money on your own, like you're an entrepreneur, or you do TikToks, or you get paid fucking ten thousand dollars a month for selling feet, you know, like, yeah. like just something. <sighs> I one hundred percent get it. Like personally, me. Brandon, because I wish like... I wish that we were all like fucking sixteen, seventeen, and we could all drive, go anywhere we want, and money was never an issue. I really wish Dude. that. I really wish life wish. life was like a fucking reality like that. But you know what? There's literally 16-year-olds on TikTok that make like $10,000 a month just off of TikTok. And they go do whatever the hell they want. They don't even need a job. Yeah, dude. Like, it's... Like, that's just fucking insane. It's like unfair, but it's stupid. Like, the fact that I... I, okay, so many, I'm like, I've been told so many times I'm at like the peak of my life right now. Yeah. But the thing is, is that like. If this is the I peak of your life. Like, so I'm not at the peak. Like, I'm just now getting into adulthood, you know. I'm yeah. experiencing a little bit of it and I still got my youth. Exactly, like, right? But the thing is, is that I can't do shit with it. I got no. a broken down car. I can't fucking drive. I got a. I work. I, st I got work that I got to worry about before I can do anything I even want. Exactly. And then, like, I'm just fucking... I can't do what I want. I know. I, gotta, I can't spend my money because if I was to spend my money on shit that I want, I can't save it for the future to have a nice future. Exactly. And, like, get a head start in life. Like, I can't do anything. Gas is so fucking high. That would literally eat up half of my check. Uh, I know. It's so, it's so dumb. Like, legit, the point of getting a job so you can save money, so you can go do the things that you want, is literally impossible today. Unless, like, unless you're literally, like, anyone that works minimum wage today, you're not going to be able to do anything in, like, the next 10 years. If that's what you do. There's a year and up, like, you're set. You don't even have to do anything at this point. You don't even have to lift a finger. But it's like, you got to work, like, 20 years to get that experience, to get a job like that. Just so dumb. 
for sure. For sure. Dude, and the thing is, is that like right now, okay, that is like gonna get me copyrighted. Oh, I know. Hang on. Let's, see, right. let's see how loud this is first. When I hear the drum beat. Hang on. No, Riley, got that. Too loud. Is it, can you hear what? it? Can you hear it? Yeah, I can. I can hear it still. Like crystal clear. Like it's loud enough that it's kind of distracting. Yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 Riley. I'll mute the mic and I'm gonna go throw the stereo out. Hang on. I. Oh yeah. Jeez, bro. Fuck, bro. I don't even really have anything to say right now. I'm just thinking about like, I don't know, man. Like, life's just crazy, you know? And the thing is that my car right now is broken down. And if I was to repair that, that'd literally take over what I have saved up in the bank from months of working like that literally eat it up I wouldn't have anything left and it's like why you know why just I don't know bro There's just so much like <sighs> just wrong with everything, bro. And then hearing about people pop off and they're like 17, like it makes me so jealous because that's what I'm trying to do, but obviously I'm I want it the legit way. You know? I'm not gonna go out and do some stupid shit just for publicity. Like, I wanna earn it legitimately. I wanna say I came up from nothing to something. And I feel like that's the problem, so I'm gonna have to wait several years to even get a little bit of a buzz. Dude, that's all I want. Just a little bit of buzz. Just a little bit. Like, if I come be some huge fucking worldwide known human like that's cool and all but like I don't see that ever happening I don't see that ever happening dude that's just mind blowing you know like there's no I, I just couldn't comprehend it but I do think that I could I do think that I could get a little bit of a buzz and at least enough to do streaming as a hobby like a side hobby and get a decent cash and flip like that's that's all I want that's all that's all I want I'm not asking for too much but like there's people out here literally making millions off of TikTok just dancing just dancing. It's mind blowing, bro. It's fucking mind blowing. I'm definitely gonna upload this to YouTube, but like, there's gonna be so many cussing in it. I don't care, bro. I'm not even big enough to getting fucking my video. I can't even. I don't even have a thousand subscribers, so I don't even have to worry about, like, my video getting demonetized, so why do I care? That's a problem. 
need a not break. Whoa, wait a minute. Burst? Oh, there's an option. I thought the AUG was automatically burst. Honestly, it feels nice coming back to this game after forever. Extended hold breath. For what? It's not a sniper. Why would I have to hold my breath? Ew, a burst MP5? Why would I want that, dude? Get that, get that out of here. I don't want that. I have this GoPro still that I've never used once. Like, I got everything for it. I just haven't used it. I just don't know what to do with it, dude. And the thing is, is that I also need a laptop. Like, my Chromebook won't work to upload it to YouTube. I need an actual laptop. Alright, well, I tried turning off the PBR and that didn't even work. No. My dad's gonna... Video? Yeah, the PBR. It's like the yeah. personal video but recorder. Like what's, what's so, gonna happen? so, my dad's gonna play, like, I think one or two more songs and just gonna turn it down. Or if not, just turn it off. So, it's okay. Right. It's okay, we still have an arrangement. It's not, he's not gonna be blasting it. I was like, bro, my friend's trying to stream. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, do you remember the nights off from school? It'd be like a Friday night. Like, your mom would, like, order pizza and shit. Like, you have, like, no homework. Legit, you can sleep in tomorrow. You don't have to do anything. Ah, I fucking miss those nights, bro. You know what I miss? <laughs> Where it actually. Most? What? That is, like, kinda just doesn't happen with adults mm. sleepovers actually yeah yeah because it was kind of i'm not an adult but they just don't happen as much as they used well to. no like, just getting like just having your friend come over yeah just spending the entire day with them just, just genuinely chilling. having fun mm -hmm. like not even 24 7 like just chilling fucking around Playing just games, making, like, baking some not shit. Not a care in the world. You know, just having fun. Smoking weed out on the porch or something. Just making fun of people. <laughs> so you walk by, you know, like... <laughs> okay, maybe not the smoking uh, weed <laughs> part, because I'm not in Canada, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, dude, I mean, I remember that. Because, like, you would go over to your friend's house, right? And, like, their mom or whatever or dad would order Chinese or pizza or whatever, right? Be a good night. Stay up till, like, 3 in the morning. You guys go to sleep. You'll wake up at 7 or 8. Mom starts making breakfast and shit, and then you know your friend asks you. It's like, hey, yo, dude, uh, my mom was like, wanted to stay over for another night. That, those were always the good nights when they would ask you if you wanted to stay over for another night. Oh, yeah, oh. that'd be amazing. And then it's like, you know, you would have to get the mom to t go talk to your mom or like dad or whatever, and it would always work out. Always work out. <laughs> dude, I miss that. I I miss those days. Like. I'm not even an adult yet, and I got so, like, I can't do it, because most of my friends have fucking jobs in school. Yeah, they have responsibilities. So, like, they don't have enough time to, yeah, they have it's, responsibilities. It sucks, I ask. Those responsibilities weren't even a thing. Like, they can't even come over and chill for an entire day. They gotta come over and chill for, like, an hour, and it's like, for an hour, what are you gonna do? Like, dude, I was so fucking stoked on coming down, and then COVID hit, and I couldn't even come down for the summer. Dude, yeah. I was uh, like, dude, we had plan. We were gonna go camping. We we're gonna go driving. Like, bro, I was gonna at least stay down there for at least a week, week and a half. I had all that money saved yeah. up too. Like, see, that would have been dude, a blast. I, that would have been. Do you I was gonna bring. I, feel oh, like I was that'd literally, be life -changing if you literally, I was gonna bring my fucking fishing rods down. We could go fishing, dog. I feel like that would have been life changing if you would have came down. To be honest, dude. Honestly, I've always wanted to meet you, dude. Like, literally, I've known you since like 2016. Literally, for since six years now. Yeah, man. Like, we've stayed up so many nights talking. Oh, we've man. literally talked for days.
upon days. Literally, upon if days, you were to take like, all of our conversations and merge them, there's at least like four or five days of conversations, just straight up. Not even, dude. There's at least, at the very least, two weeks. Yeah. I couldn't see any shorter. Nah, nah, me neither, to be honest. And it's like, I'm, I, like, it's not like that we don't do it anymore. It's just I wish that we would do it more often. But it's like, you know, life. You know, life gets in the way, bro. It sucks. It fucking yeah, sucks. You can't just, you can't just fucking chill out anymore. Like, dude, Your like, like even like on like even when my friends would make a game night, be on a Friday, and like I would get paid, I ordered pizza and shit. Even today, it wouldn't feel the same as like five five years ago. You know. Yeah. Cause I kind of like, <laughs> it's weird because like when you order shit for yourself, right? You have it all. It's good for the moment. And then, like, you look back on it, it's like, why did I order all that shit? <laughs> yeah, it's like, why did I spend $20 on Chinese food? I need the money for something else. Exactly. But it's like... But, like, in the moment, it's, like, completely worth it. Literally. Like, you're sitting there in your room, you got the pizza, you got your Coke, chilling out with the friends, cracking <laughs> jokes, playing Call of Duty. I mean, those were the days. Those were the fucking days. Like, yeah, now you have to... It's You have to second guess literally every purchase. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Like, we're living, I don't know about you, but most people live paycheck to paycheck. Literally. That's so how like, I am. They don't have enough time to do, like, like, they don't have enough money to do anything. I know, man. And I the thing is, that's how they live most of their lives. Could you imagine that? For, like, 20 years, not having enough money to do shit, like, anything. I mean, be honest. Before I started working, that's how my life was. I mean, it was shitty, but, like, it was worth it, though. Like, when I had money, I would fucking spend it on myself. I would invest in myself, bro, and it felt so good. But it's like now, yeah. it's like now that I have all this money, I have to still pay rent to my dad. I still have to pay half the utilities. I still have to get groceries. And then I got to worry about myself, like, my needs and shit. And it's like now when I spend, like, say, $50 on pizza and, like, Coke and drinks or whatever, it doesn't even feel worth feel it. feel like an idiot. Yeah. But it's like you want it for the moment, but like when you're done, it's like, why? Why did I spend all this? It doesn't even mean the same. Yeah, you can't even enjoy anything without feeling bad. Feeling yeah. Guilty of bad. Like game nights with the homies are not even a thing anymore. Like it sucks ass. Dude, I have to s second guess like every purchase I make. Yeah, same here. Like I think, so basically how I work with my finances is... I check it out by versus what I need versus what I want. All right. If I need, like, say for examples, I I I'll I'll, I'll wear a pair of shoes till they're right down to the soles. You know, I don't give a fuck. But it's like, if I need a new pair of shoes, I'll go buy a new pair of shoes. Do I want a new pair of shoes? That depends if I really need them. I'm not just gonna spend money yeah. on something that I don't actually need. You know. For sure, I know exactly what you mean, dude. Mhm. Mm like, but I've made some dumb if purchases. If I need new clothes, I'm not buying them. Like, I if I'm not gonna buy clothes unless I need it. Like, so like, like I'll buy like a new pair of pants like, or like a new T-shirt or like a new hoodie like once a week or not once a week, but like once in a while. <laughs> once a week. But like, you know, it, I'm not gonna spend five hundred dollars in one day for new clothes. I'm only gonna wear like five times. No. Dude, and then just like yeah. switch it up. Or like when you people go out and they'll buy like a nice ass, like a $500 outfit to wear for like a day. Yeah. Like, I couldn't. What? Like, Just I could what? see like somebody buying a suit. Like, sure, you know, it's good to have a suit in your wardrobe just for when you need it. I could see that. But just buying one because, you know, you can is stupid. I feel like you shouldn't have more than two good pairs of dress clothes. Exactly. Like, essentially, uh, Steve Harvey was saying... Three that, at the most. So, essentially, to get, like, seven... Uh, I think he said, like, a hundred combinations. What you need is a blue suit, blue pants, a navy suit. Um, you need a beige, a white, and, and, and a black. And you can legit mix and match all of that. And you can have different suit outfits every day. I mean, yeah, for real. And it's like, sure, you know, you might spend like fucking over a thousand dollars, but it's like, you don't have to buy a new suit ever again. You can legit mix and match your combos. For like the rest of your life. Yeah, exactly. Essentially what you need, yeah. 
in life is a dress suit, a formal suit, and a business suit. But it's like, yeah, that's it. That's all you need. Riley, that music's creeping up. I know. I know. My dad, well, not my dad, fucking Eddie Van Halen's playing a guitar solo right now. So you can hear it. First, I'm calling it out. Jeez. <laughs> Shut up, don't say it. Alright, I'll mute the mic. Thank you, jeez. What happened to throwing a speaker out of the window? Well, that's what I thought, and then my dad's like, I'll turn it off in a minute. Literally, he's got like, one minute. <laughs> Literally, got 30 seconds. 30 seconds off the dot. <sighs> but, like, do you kind of. Mi okay. Dude, hold up. I got a creepy ass encounter to tell you that I experienced. Alright, bet. Like, well, whatever. Fuck it. The guitar solos. Then I'll let you know. All right. Here, here. I'll here. I'll mute the mic, and you can tell me. All right. So, me and my family went on a family vacation. Like me, my mom, my stepdad, my in-house family. Mm -hmm. Then my my extended family, like my grandma, grandpa. Then like my aunt. Their side of the family. Like just just like a. Extended family, but not like yeah, yeah, bunch of people. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we spent the night in a hotel in Michigan. And on the very last night, the very last night, we're staying there. I'm chilling on my phone, texting the group chat, like you know, just chilling. Just got out of the shower, and like. There's a flash in my window, and I'm on like the third story, and there's a flash, and I'm I look outside because there's like a I was flash? expecting rain, like a flash, like a flash of light, All like right. a white flash of light, and I thought it was rain because it was supposed to rain, so I'm like, okay, you know, it's just thunder, or not thunder, it's just lightning. So I go check, not a drop, so I'm like, you know, just heat lightning. So I go back. There's another flash, and it's at the same angle it was last time. Cause the way it was is it was angled. I like. Was it like a up. small concentrated like beam of light, or or like did Hold like on. or like did the whole window like that. flash up? I'll get to that. It was only like if, if it was, the flash happened again, and it was angled like up from like it, like it was coming down. It was angled up. And it, it didn't light up the entire room. It just lit up like a, a little section of it. And behind the hotel where we lived was the woods. So I look in the woods. And I shit you not. I see a pair of eyes. And like a red flash. Like a red dot. on Bruh. Some, like a, yeah, I see like a red dot. And I stare at it. Because I'm like what the fuck. I like... I'm not just gonna let someone stalk up me and not know about it. So I stare yeah. at it. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I'm staring at it. And another light comes up, like a cigarette light or something. Like he's, I see like, I see it for like a, t maybe three seconds and then just gets thrown. So I'm like, okay, they're smoking a cigarette. And then just walks away. Like it just disappears into the fucking woods. So, I'm literally losing it, texting the group chat, like, dude, there's a fucking stalker or something. And the thing is, is I don't understand what they'd get. Like, it was angled up. Dude, that, <laughs> the that. The only thing you're gonna get is, like, the ceiling, dude. Yeah, no, that, that is fucked. That is actually legitimately fucked up. And, no, no, there's more, there's more. So, I'm, like, texting the group chat, freaking out. And I'm like, I'm not going to bed. There's no fucking way I'm going to bed. And so obviously an hour passes by. Nothing. Fifteen minutes pass by. Right. Another flash. So I'm like, dude, I'm tired of this shit. I'm checking it out. Because nobody's going to fucking stalk me and get away with it. Like, right. I'm going to confront you. I don't care. So, I, I, I fucking video chat Wrinkle on Instagram. Yep. I'm like, Wrinkle, we're going to find out what the fuck this is. I go outside. I go out back. I walk around, like, just kind of 
getting the view of everything, you know, seeing if there's anything in the woods. Yeah. Uh, you know, scream around. I don't scream at the top of my lungs, but like, let let them know I'm there. Tell the host at like the gate that I'm going out. Yeah. And nothing. So I go back in, and before I go in, I scream some, and uh, I go back. I, I go back inside, and I'm talking to Wrinkle still. He's like, "Yo, okay, you should go back." Right. He's like, "I'm like, why, why, why should I go back?" Yeah. He's like, "I don't know, dude. You should just like." Just see if anything popped up after you screamed something, you know? Like, after Dude, you started like, walking back, see if anyone popped up. I'm just gonna ask you this. Was it something that, like, really freaked you out, though? Like, it legit disturbed you? Hold on. Like, I was- I was fucking losing it, actually, dude. Right. Like, so I go back inside. I'm like, I'm not gonna check it out unless I need to. He's like, yeah, fair point. If, if it stops, don't check it out, you know? What's the point? It okay. stopped. Who cares? So, I go inside. I'm, like 30 minutes pass by, nothing. 30, about 30 more minutes pass by, and there's another flash. Right. By this, like I'm literally on the verge of tears. I told Wrinkle that like I'm tearing up, dude. I'm, I'm like actually scared. Right. Why would somebody be taking pictures of my window? Of like the most random shit that doesn't Especially exist. on like the third floor. Like why is there a flash happening on the third floor? That should be elevated. Like you have to try to get that angle. And like Like shit, you either uh, A gotta be on sense. a fucking ladder or like something. But like who would put in like that much effort? So I go back outside and you know, let the fucking person know I'm leaving. I leave. And I walk yeah. around the corner. There's a guy standing in the bush right across the corner, right, right on the corner, smoking a cigarette, just standing there, Bruh. in a bush, hidden, like he was nah. hiding in a bush, smoking a cigarette. Dude, my reaction, I'm on the phone with Rinko. I'm like, oh shh, and then I just keep walking. Something told me just keep walking. Yeah. I, I just keep walking, and he did not notice me. Like I look back, he didn't notice me. Bruh. Or I don't. No, the thing is, is that I know he noticed me because I screamed. Oh shit! So I know he noticed me, but I don't think he knew that I noticed. Because I was screaming shit earlier. So I just keep walking. I keep walking. And I like mouth to Wrinkle. I'm like, that's it. I found him. Wrinkle's nah. like, what are you saying? What are you saying? I can't hear you. I'm like, that's him. I keep mouthing it because I'm not going to say it that I saw him. So yeah. I'm, I'm walking. To like the front of the building, and right when I get to the front, I'm shaking. I'm like, Wrinkle, I fucking saw him. He's like, No, you did not. I'm like, Wrinkle, I saw him. He was in the bush, just he's like, Was he hiding? I'm like, Yeah, he was like hiding in the bush. But he was just a second, bro. That sucks. He's like, There's no fucking way. I'm like, Dude, why else would somebody be smoking a cigarette, hiding in a bush late at night? Yeah, exactly. Like, why would they do that? It's, like, yeah, that's if fun. you go out for a smoke, okay. But, like, why would you be hiding? In the yeah, exactly. Like, there's no fucking way. So I go back inside, and... I don't know what to do. So I just go upstairs, and I just ignore it. And several hours go by, nothing happened. Like, I think, like, it actually stopped after that. So, I'm just cool with it. Right, I didn't yeah. say anything to anyone. Because, how believable does that sound? That somebody's taking pictures of the third floor at an angle that makes no sense. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Like, that sounds psychotic. Right. And then to say that I spotted them and just kept walking. Like, the story doesn't make sense. No. But I swear that this happened, and I Wrinkle was on the phone. Like he he witnessed the entire thing from start to finish. I was texting him, and then we were video calling. Dude, 
I want I wonder what would happen if I didn't like if I did it continue walking and I actually confronted him yeah the thing is is you don't know what he knows you don't know if they have a gun a you knife. don't know what he's you don't know if there's other people yeah like you don't know you don't know I mean I'm happy I found out what it was but like you can't do shit about it no no you can't which is so dumb unless you want to put your life in danger then like you can't do shit about it and even if say we were I was to confront him yeah and he had a weapon if he was to like stab me I could just die it, or if it yeah. was to reverse and I was to stab him and kill him I could get life in prison you know Exa yeah like but it's you not don't like no yeah yeah you can't really go off your judgment like that cuz you honestly just like don't know and if I was to call the police like I said, it just sounds psychotic. Yeah. You know, for a minute here, I during know, our that game, night was a whole mess. During our game here, I actually forgot that we were playing up against bots. We were playing against bots this whole time, dude. Yeah. Yeah, what'd you think? I was wondering why they were so retarded, like some of them were just staying there. Well, some of them were actually like really good. Like, it'll get you, and oh, I put it up on mixed, so it's a little bit of everything, right? So it actually feels kind of real. Yeah, I can tell. But like, yeah, no, dude, like that's just garbage. Like, why would he? Yeah, no, that's. And it's not like that you. Dude, I don't get but, it. But like, even if you did confront them, though, right? He'd just be like, nah, that wasn't me. I don't know, dude. Like he could yeah, literally. Yeah, why just, would like... you fucking admit to that? Yeah, exactly. Like obviously, if someone's stalking you, they're not gonna be like, oh yeah, I was stalking you. Oh yeah, so by They're the way, I was just it taking off, pictures. Like it was a coincidence. Dude, I don't get it. The thing that made me so, like, scared mm -hmm. is that it wasn't like they took pictures of me. They literally took pictures of something that didn't make sense. It was angled up to where, like, the it was, like, at, it was at, like, the top of the roof and, like, the bottom of the, like, not the bottom, but, like, the middle of the bathroom door. Bruh. And the door was shut. And he took, like, at least three pictures. So it doesn't make sense. I wonder what we're... To dude, me, I, I want to... Now, after after you saying that, I really kind of want to know what's on that phone. What's on those pictures. Dude, I don't know. And the thing that made it so much worse is that we were literally, like, maybe five minutes from the ghetto. Yeah, actually. So, like, chances are that guy definitely had something on him. Did you tell your parents at all, or no? No, I no? haven't told them a word. Yeah, dude, I mean, because there's always I was the chance of... I was gonna wake them up, but, like, I didn't want to risk it, you know? I didn't want to sound like a fucking lunatic and Not only that, but, like, creep them out, up too, right? Yeah, and then ruin the vacation. And what if I, I what if I was to wake them up at like 3 a.m. just to go outside and see nothing? Yeah. Like, you know how pissed they would be? Yep, exactly. Like this story already sounds like it doesn't make sense. Team death match. <sighs> Enemy incoming. You almost, you almost want to know what the hell was going on. Dude, I really do. That's why I confronted it. Like, I just said, fuck it. And I confronted it. I texted, uh... I texted my friend my location and like I said if I don't text you in 20 minutes spam call my parents phone yeah I told my location I told them my parents phone number they're like all right and so like, I had this whole thing planned out I mean but who knows dude like I could have gone missing just but, from that Brandon you literally took this off and I wouldn't have known, dude. Legit wouldn't have yeah. known. Wrinkle wouldn't have known. You Nobody wouldn't have known what happened. Known. Your parents wouldn't have known. I mean, Wrinkle would have known because he was on the phone. But nobody else would have known. Dude, I seriously want to know what the fuck he was taking pictures of. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make sense. Like, it, it's fucked up it to the point that it's, like, really creepy, though, Brandon. Like, that's the thing. It's creepy as fuck. 
it doesn't the th the part that makes no sense is that the pictures literally seemed so useless like it wasn't like i just got this shower and i'm naked you know yeah it was literally like one an of the hour strangest after things I got shower. To like to like the strangest things to take it picture seems of so useless so stupid so it's it's it makes it scary like what could you tr be trying to find yeah, honestly. It like just mind fucks me. Like there's nothing. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't know, bro. And even if they were trying to take pictures of people sleeping, the beds are like underneath the window, and there's no way you'd see that from the third floor. Like from being at the bottom of the third floor, you wouldn't see them sleeping. No. No, yeah, absolutely wouldn't either. I don't know, man. It it made no sense. It's just like that's why I had to check it out, cause I didn't even believe that I was seeing flashes. Cause like it doesn't make sense. No. No, realistically, it doesn't. And that's just what makes it more creepy. I can't explain it, and that's why it's so scary. Damn it, that shotgun. These bots don't feel like bots. They feel like I'm getting murked over here. Dude, I don't know. I'm just so caught up in this story. Brandon, have you ever gotten high before? I just want to ask that. No? Never? Would you ever, like, smoke weed in your life? Like, once or twice? No? Okay. That's I mean, I've got, like, med medically, like, induced high. Yeah. Because of surgery but like besides that no I just don't want to get like I don't want to I don't like alcohol either dude like I don't want to get fucked up and not remember you know yeah yeah no and, and that's understandable so and not even that but like I I'd prefer to be fully conscious when I'm making decisions or like yep. when I'm having like, a good time with someone. Yeah, yeah, no, true. I mean, I, I smoke so much weed at this point in my life, it's just something I do after work, right? I just calm down, smoke some weed, and I'm good. Dude, my friend tried to tell me he wasn't addicted, but then told me that he has to do it every night before he goes to bed. That's or he can't baloney. Sleep. That's a dick. That's being a dick. Yep. Yeah, he's legit like relying on pot something... at this point to fall asleep, which is, yeah, addiction. I was literally, I was trying to explain that to him. He's like, nah, man, I can stop whenever I want. And I'm like, then why don't you? Because if I don't want to, and if I did, I would definitely have oh, some I side effects. Oh, can't sleep. Yeah, side effects. Yeah. So that's literally being addicted. And it, they... Just, he just doesn't understand. I don't know if it's the fact that he doesn't understand or just doesn't want to admit it. I don't know. It's probably both. But it's like, yeah, if you need weed to sleep, bruh, which is not even a thing. It just means that he's legit addicted to it. Besides, dude, like, I've gotten to the point where sometimes I, I don't want to smoke weed. When I want to, you know, I just don't feel like getting high because I know it's gonna make me get tired. I yeah, I don't understand how to, like, like with everything you get tired of it after. Something. Well, it's it's not really like you or get just so tired, much of it. Like actually, like, like you get, just don't like you just don't want to do it. Anymore. Yeah, like, like you need a break. But like not only that, like weed when you smoke it, it doesn't make you tired, it just makes you relaxed, which is a side effect of being tired. Yeah. So I mean it will put you to sleep, but it doesn't make you make you tired, tired. Yeah. And besides, I'm not like your friend. I can legit like I don't I don't need weed to function, you know? Yeah. 
but I mean that's just me and like you know there's some people that need to do like cocaine and shit because you know they'll suffer with thoughts they just don't and it's like I don't know that's man the I've just seen too I would many people's to to. lives get fucked up yep. with alcohol and like drugs and all types of shit yeah like you literally see what that's it does like, I, I really just I, I'm not gonna fuck with any of them. 